Never buy the book, always underestimated. It's hard to believe the life that you've created. Self made. I feel like I need a golden lasso and some really cool cuffs. Greetings and salutations! This is Creative Freedom, your dose of education and inspiration to help creative entrepreneurs like you build a noble empire and live an inspired life without selling your soul. One of my favorite shows on PBS is Finding Your Roots hosted by Henry Louis Gates Jr. From actors to activists, musicians to monument makers, Finding Your Roots gives us the context of how these people came to be who they are through the stories of their ancestors. While I've written about my family on my blog, I've never talked about them on this show. So you may not know that I was born into a mixed race blended family. The oldest daughter of my parents, but the middle child of the family. My two brothers, both older than me, came along with my dad when he married my mom. Being a multiracial kid wasn't easy. We lived well below the poverty line in a rough part of Flint, Michigan. <laughs> yes, that Flint, Michigan. We may have had it hard, but it helped shape me. I developed entrepreneurial skills at an early age and my parents demanded a strong work ethic. And I learned that the only person who could save me from my circumstances was myself. I worked hard, earned scholarships, and I was the first person in my dad's family to go to college. I found, and sometimes created, my own opportunities to make my life what it is today. That's the kind of mindset featured in the new book of Nellie Galan entitled Self Made, Becoming Empowered, Self Reliant, and Rich in Every Way. And this marks a new feature in the Creative Freedom series, my book reviews! If you follow my blog, you know I'm an avid reader about creative entrepreneurship. So when I got the chance to be on Nellie's launch team, I said, hell yeah! Self Made, while aimed at women, is an inspiring call to arms for anyone who wants to experience their own sense of empowerment and financial independence. The anecdotes and behind the scenes stories from Nellie's own life give us a glimpse into how a Cuban immigrant built her own noble empire in the entertainment industry. She turns her so-called disadvantages into the deciding factors of her success and asks us to do the same. She writes, there is much to be learned from paying attention to yourself. Everything you do, every choice you've made or will make is important because you are important. There is no narcissism or grandiosity in this. It's about putting yourself in the mindset that your actions count, that your decisions have implications, and that you've chosen yourself and put your faith in your own ability to succeed. Your biggest investment is staring at you in the mirror. When you commit to becoming self-made, what you are investing in, ultimately, is yourself. But self-made is more than that. Filled with plenty of case studies from other entrepreneurs, as well as action steps and exercises you can implement for your own business, self-made is an excuse buster that gives you the courage to set yourself on the path to personal and financial empowerment. I really enjoyed all the case studies, most of whom were women, but there's also a fascinating story about Jeremy Renner, who was very strategic when he decided to pursue a career as an actor. The case studies span the spectrum of ethnicities, too. Nellie is very keen on diversity in this book, which really helps you see how anyone with a little grit and determination can ride the entrepreneurial wave if that's what they really want to do. This book is also good because it pulls no punches. Nellie isn't afraid to talk about the long hours, the hard work, and even being wrong once in a while on her way to success as a mediapreneur. It's refreshing to see someone that wants to see you succeed who isn't afraid to be real about the hard work of being an entrepreneur. My one wish for this book was to have the exercises more meaty and laid out more like a workbook. The second half of the book is light on how to, but big on ideas and theories for you to implement and try on for size. I would have liked more specifics, but the numerous case studies are great examples of her ideas in action. And you really need a separate journal in order to put the exercises into practice. For me, it's easier to do the work when I don't need something extra to bring along for the ride. But if you do the work, you may just find the path that leads to your legacy. I think Little Big Town has the right idea here.
Now let me hear from you. Interested in becoming self-made? Well, I'm giving away a free copy of Nellie's book. Here it is. You want it? Winning is easy. Just answer one of these questions in the comments. What's your self-made story? Where have you been and where are you going? What's the ultimate goal for your great work? I'll randomly select one winner. That way everyone has an equal chance at the book. So share your thoughts and ideas in the comments and let's be a rising tide for everyone. If you like this video and want to be the first to see more just like it, then subscribe to my channel and share me around with your friends because creative freedom is the quicker picker upper. And there's always more where this came from for inspiring songs and stories and resources that will help you build a noble empire and live an inspired life without selling your soul, come see what's shaking over at lisarobinyoung.com. You know you want to.